Good morning, everybody. Happy 4th, or good afternoon, whenever you see this. A happy 4th of July. Everybody, please be uh, safe today. Be responsible. Have fun. Uh, do what you got to do, but uh, be nice to people and just have fun. Be responsible. Uh, Sports Live in the ATL here. The bet with Beast of the East is off. It is done, completed, kaput. Uh, so now I'm back to normal on my channel. Uh, we'll change the logo probably tonight. I might put it on something before uh, I get back. Before it gets dark, the sun will be going down, but by the time I get back, it still should be light enough for me to get ready for the fireworks in my neighborhood because it's going to be lit. Stay tuned to the channel and everything. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Share it to all your media outlets. Click the notification bell, like, dislike button. Again, all donations through July 15th uh, will go to Marie's family at $40 for this current uh, session of, of donations for Marie's family. Cash App is available, PayPal, obviously, and everything. So thank you very much. Um, what I want to talk about in this, I'm not really concerned about talking about the Braves today. Uh, we all know they lost uh, to the Reds 4-3, to three, but they still won the series three and a half back, a half game in the second wild card spot behind the first place wild card team. So we're, we're in a good spot. Uh, just keep winning series. We got the St. Louis Cardinals for four games starting tonight. I'm, I'm going to try to stream the game tomorrow night because tonight I'm not going to stream it when I get back because I'm going to be partying with my neighbors and stuff. So, uh, yeah, but I want to talk about the Falcons. Julio Jones, name is running ramp rampant right now. On Twitter, CBSSports.com reports, I think it's between the Cowboys and the Falcons for Fulio Jones services. Why? Look, we all know what uh, Fulio Jones did for the Falcons. We all know that. Electric player. Probably the best receiver ever to play in a Falcons uniform. Some would argue Roddy White, maybe. Um... I wouldn't go as far back as Alfred Jenkins or Jackson or Andre Risen or 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 uh, the guy who used to put Michael Haynes or whatever, but clearly the best receiver or Calvin really the best receiver to put on a Falcons uniform. Um, why? Why do we want to get? Why do we want to get a guy back that openly didn't want to be here? He did. I've said this a million times. If Falcon fans can open their eyes, some of them actually said it on Twitter. You know, they said, if you don't want to be here, why would we want him back? He wanted out. He disrespected the city leaving. You know, he didn't even feel like it was it was uh, Atlanta was important enough for him to come back down during preseason and uh, at least have an interview with the with, with the Atlanta media so he can talk about the Falcons, the fans, his time here. No, he didn't even come down with the team. So he basically left Atlanta in Atlanta when he went to Tennessee and failed up in Tennessee. I love that. I thought that was great. Again, I'm not going to bring up all this again, but the Tennessee Titan fans were talking about Super Bowl with Derrick Henry and A.J. Brown and Julio Jones. Boy, I'd, 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 how'd that work out for you? Oh, I'll remind you, one and done. He had one touchdown. I think he got that, like, last game of the year. And then he injury-prone. Came back, failed in the playoff, that one playoff loss. I think it was at home, too, they got destroyed or beat. One and done. Uh, Fulio Jones is washed up. The only thing that he can contribute coming back here is to tutor the, the young wide receivers on how to play. Definitely can't tutor the, the young wide receivers on having class because Fulio Jones clearly doesn't have any class. He never had class when it came to practice. He felt like he was beyond that. He never practiced uh during training camp, never really went to it. Just nah. I mean, he wasn't one to run his mouth at all, but he was. He just he showed by his actions. Again, great, awesome player, exciting player with this team. A lot of big moments. You know, I've, I've praised Julio throughout his career with the Falcons, but I sure did not appreciate the way he left. In the last two years here, he didn't do much either. Always injured, on the injured list, sit out. A quarter, come back, just whatever. Went to Tennessee and flopped. But again, why would you want someone on your team who openly wanted uh, wanted out? I don't get it. You know, Atlanta Falcon fans, a lot of you guys are stuck on the past. I mean, y'all would take Michael Vick back, even at 69. Y'all would probably take Deion Sanders back. Y'all would probably take Jesus Christ, man. 
Sometimes I feel it's a name thing here in the A. You know? Don't, don't a lot of you Falcon fans have any pride and respect for the for the heritage of this team, for the, the, the really good players who have come through here, the Jesse Tuggles, the, the, the Matt Ryans, the Tony Gonzalez, you know, the Morton Andersons, you know, the guys who bled this team, you know, the right way, upstanding, never got into trouble. Seems like all you got, a lot of Falcon fans, all y'all want is troublemakers and people, men who have their heads screwed on totally wrong. You know, dissension and, and negativity does not bring championships. You got to have a continuity, man. I mean, I would I would like to have somebody back like Tony Gonzalez, like Jesse Tuggle, like Matt Ryan, like uh, uh, Todd McClure, um, Roddy White. You know, I would like to have guys like them back, those type of guys, not Julio Jones, who is arrogant, cocky, selfish, disrespectful heading out and has nothing else to give. Now, if he had something to give physically, maybe. The only thing I could think of is if he does for some ungodly reason come back, people are like, oh, you're going to root for Julio. I mean, he's on my, he would be on my team again. You know, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, root for Julio to fail if he comes back to the Falcons, but he, he would be better off going to Dallas or Indianapolis. Try to try to mooch a ring with the Bucks, maybe. The Yucks, I mean, excuse me. Because he, he sure as hell can't contribute overall to a championship team or winning. You know, the only thing he could do is, you know, he he probably doesn't have that burst of speed anymore. And, you know, I would take him at the goal line maybe to try to get in the end zone in the goal line because with the players that we got, you know, the only two things that will happen, you know, Julio Jones' name does carry weight. So you get down to the goal line, you put Julio in there, and then you have um, the wide receivers that we have and the tight ends. You know, obviously, if they're going to still be stupid enough to double-team Julio, that's going to leave someone open. Or if they're not going to trust Julio, they'll double-team the other guys, and Julio might be able to make a play in the end zone and catch a 10-yard touchdown pass. I mean, I think he still has the end zone presence, you know, but as far as overall, no. But like I said, why would you want somebody who doesn't want to be here? I would take Matt Ryan back in a heartbeat because he, he never wanted to leave. Falcons did him dirty, and the fans did him dirty, most fans. So... I don't know. I mean, I don't believe rumors. We all know how I do. I don't care how, how, um, how respectable the source comes from or well known the source is. I don't believe in rumors until I see it. I woke up today and I saw it. You know, but it clearly, if it's on CBSSports.com, it's 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 there. But what would the Falcons gain? Like I said, the Falcons would only gain the, the mentorship uh, if Julio can teach these guys how to play wide receiver. Don't teach him anything. Don't teach him, you know, guy, can you can you can you uh, can you take Julio's words, says, hey guys, you gotta practice each week, you gotta come to camp, blah, blah, blah. You gotta put your fourth year the grind in, the work in. Why he didn't. When was the last time he went to training camp? My way. I mean, come on, man. One of the most selfish individuals I've ever seen in my life. Very talented. Don't get me wrong. I'm not crapping on his talent with the Falcons. But he don't have that no more. It's just a name. You know, so if it was people are asking me, and if you ask me, would I want Julio Jones back? Julio? No. I would rather Julio Jones go to Tampa Bay and fail because we all know the Yucks aren't going to win, Jack. You, you, you all know they're not going to win the, the Super Bowl this year. They're not. So might as well, Julio might as well go to Tampa Bay and fail with them like he did when he brought up the Titans uh, fans. Um, uh, hopes and dreams and got crushed. So just go ahead and do it again in Tampa Bay and crush. He goes to Dallas, they're not going to win anything either. Julio Jones should just retire. Retire. You know, so that way, I mean, why even sign with another football team, man? You're not going to practice and show how it's supposed to be done. You know, but like I said, the only positive would be, would be he could tutor the, the young wide receivers that we got and teach them about football. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. So regardless of what happens, if Julio doesn't resign, can't nobody laugh at me because I don't want him here anyways. Just like I didn't want Deshaun Watson. How, how, how'd that story turn out? And But if he does resign with the Falcons, I'll root for him because he's on my team. But I don't want him here. I'm openly saying it. I don't care if he resigns with the Falcons and scores a game-winning touchdown. If he does, I'll be happy, obviously, but... I'm telling you straight out, I do not want Julio Jones number 11 here. 
He burned his bridge. He didn't want to be here. So arrivederci. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Sports Ivy ATL. Subscribe to the channel. Happy 4th, everybody. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.